Okay, so we have a brand new GT Power A6-12 charger from Value Hobby out of Illinois. Um, just got it today. The very first thing I did on it was uh, to uh, put some lipos into storage mode. And within the first minute of using the charger, putting the lipos into storage mode, uh, the lipos were 3S2200s. Um, plugged the lipo in, and within the first minute... Uh, the charger was maintaining 2.2 amps of discharge current on the 3S LiPo at about 11.6 volts, which does translate to 25 watts, which is the wattage um, dissipation for discharge that this charger shows. Well, all at once, the charger, uh, within the first minute, shut down and had a heat error uh, that it had overheated. And so I immediately tried the process again to discharge and at that point it would not go above about a half amp of discharge current. It would not go back to 2.2 amp like it did the first time before it overheated so it obviously blew out some uh, resistors for the discharge side of things. Um, now what we've got here is we've got two 2S LiPos on the charger and it's getting ready to time out so I wanted to show this to you because it's about to hit the 120 minute mark. Uh, it's got two uh, well, as you can see, zero amps is showing at 12.6 volts, and uh, the balance on the cells, there, there's an example of the balance, internal temp on the charger during charge, I don't think is too bad, it's showing, uh, yeah, I lost it, it doesn't just timed out, but basically, here we are two hours and only put 23 47 milliamp into it the milliamp have remained unchanged for about the last hour and zero amps milliamps haven't changed zero amps the whole time uh, it just would not finish balancing the two cells um, two turn g 2.2s three uh, s's so uh, something happened in the first minute uh, the charger suffered a, a problem and uh, so this is just my video documentation of it. I'm not too happy. I've got another GT Power Charger, uh, the X Charger, which is a 6 amp um, charger. And uh, it's been really well. It even does internal lithium resistance uh, calculations per cell. This one doesn't seem to do that. But anyway, the problem is this one, uh, within the first minute, um, only sustained its 25 watt of discharge current for less than a minute before it blew and then it would not sustain that again. As a matter of fact, the half amp at uh, about 11.6 volts that it was discharging at after the shutdown it translates to just barely over 5 watts. So it lost about 20 watts of its discharge capability in the first minute and it seems to be a, a permanent damage because it, it did not recover from it. So uh, buyer beware. Um, I'm going to be sending this back and at this point, I don't know if I just got a fluke or not, but if I get another one that does the same thing, I'm going to be disappointed with GT Power because up to this point, I've always looked at them as my go-to brand for uh, good, cheap, uh, decent quality stuff. So um, we'll uh, try to do a follow-up with the replacement and see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to do a follow-up to uh, the video I just shot uh, where I explained about within the first minute how... Um, at first the charger discharged at 2.2 amp which is 25 watts and within the first minute it overheated and I immediately restarted it and at that point it would not achieve a 2.2 amp discharge anymore. The highest it would hit was about 0.5 amps which calculates to be about 5.8 watts, something like that. Uh, nothing near the 25 watts it did uh, that it's rated at that it did do for the first minute. Um, also, while it was doing the half amp charge the second time around after the first initial overheat in the first minute, um, you can actually check the internal temperature of the charger by hitting the down arrow key while it's in while it's uh, running its cycle, and it will show you the internal temperature of the charger, and it rotates between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And right after the overheat condition, that I went right back into discharge, the internal temperature showed 176 degrees. So it was hot as hell. Now you couldn't feel it on the case. When you touched any of the case or the back, you couldn't feel any abnormal heat. So the circuit board inside is not heat synced. At least the discharge resistors are not heat synced to the exterior aluminum case. 
I think they're relying strictly on the fan to blow air over the surface of the resistors to cool them um, would appear to be the case because the uh, the enclosure, the case of the charger, just had no heat to it at all, even though it showed internal temperature at 176. Now we've got more of a problem. Uh, in the last video, I showed you how uh, I was in a charge cycle that was uh, approaching 120 minutes, and that uh, about an hour into the charge, um, the milliamps uh, did not change, and the amperage was at zero, and the cells were not done. It was still trying to charge, but nothing was nothing was going into the batteries. So when that timed out, I shut the camera off and um, basically went in to try to top one of the lipos off again uh, to top it off to see if it could do it a second time around. And now I get zero uh, amps of charge no matter what I choose and no milliamps going into the pack at all. So I've left the charger off for several minutes. Um, I've got a regulated power supply here. I'm going to flip it on. And the charger is going to come on, and uh, we've got it set. Uh, we're going to set it for a balanced charge, and we're going to do 4.4 amp, which is 2C of the Turn G 2.2 3S packs. So we're doing 4.4 uh, amps at 11.1 .1 volts. I'm going to go ahead and OK that. And yes, so you clearly saw that I had 4.4 amps chosen. And look at that, zero amps and zero milliamp going into it. The fan just kicked on. You can actually see down in that charger somewhat. through the fan, but the fan is running very slowly. But as you can see, no amperage, no milliamps going into the battery at all. Wow, it's actually, uh, looks like it's overcharged the cells by a hundred, hundredth of a volt to 4.21 at times. But, uh, it's not consistent. It's all over the place. And once again, 0, 0.0 amps with no milliamps at all going in. And uh, a minute ago, uh, before I turned the camera back on for the second round of filming, I did let the charger run for about 10 minutes, and the whole time it did not put a single milliamp in, and it never changed from 0, 0.0 amps. So this charger uh, is shot completely shot um, from the get-go within the first minute it failed and uh, then it seemed to kind of work to charge uh, but then it went into the 120 minute cycle and somewhere in that 120 minutes it quit charging amps dropped to zero and the timer at 120 minutes kicked on and shut the charger off which you witnessed in my first video and uh, so this charger is toast unfortunately. It's a really nice looking charger. It's really cool because it has uh, the buttons are touch sensitive. They're not uh, they're not pressure uh, buttons. You just they're more like an inductive uh, capacitive touch type of button. They don't flex, pop, or click when you push them. You just barely touch them and uh, and they work. So neat charger. It looks good um, and the specs look good but maybe I got a dud but I'm for sure sending it back and I will follow up and let you know how Value Hobby handles the situation for me. Thanks for watching.